everyone! Welcome to the Heshi Observatory. Right now it's the time of year when the days are nice and warm, but also long because it's almost summer. Now, while it's nice not to freeze while we're out stargazing, these long days can lead to some pretty late nights if you want to see the stars. But the late nights are worth it for summertime skies. Let me show you what you might be able to see in the night sky over these next few months. Right now in the month of June, if you look to the east when the stars are coming out, you'll notice three bright stars in the sky in a large triangle formation. Those stars include Vega, the second brightest star in the northern hemisphere. Then there's Deneb, one of the most luminous bright stars in our sky. And thirdly is Altair, a star that's pretty close to us, only 17 light years away. And it spins faster than the Earth, only taking 10 hours to complete one rotation. The three stars all together make up the asterism known as the Summer Triangle, which is a great place to begin stargazing as the bright stars are easy to spot. When you see this triangle rising in the east in the early evening, that's the signal that summer is about to start. The stars that make up the Summer Triangle are all from different officially recognized constellations, so next try to find each constellation. Altair is from Aquila, an eagle. Vega is part of a small constellation, Lyra, which is often represented as a Lyre. And Deneb is the tail of Cygnus the Swan, which is also sometimes referred to as the Northern Cross. Cygnus also has another interesting star in it. At the head of the swan, in the middle of the Summer Triangle, lies Albirio, a beautiful double star. This picture here is Albirio through the Heshi Observatory Telescope and you can see the brighter golden star and the smaller, more blue star. These two stars are actually orbiting each other, but they might take as long as 100,000 years just to complete one orbit. A deep sky object to try spot this summer is the Hercules Globular Cluster, a sparkling star cluster in the constellation Hercules, which is just up and to the right of Lyra. You might be able to see this star cluster with just your eyes, on the west side of the body of Hercules, about one third of the way from the more northern star to the more southern star. If you look at this cluster through our telescope, it will look something like this. This cluster is the 13th object in the Messier catalog and contains several hundred thousand stars. Globular clusters like this one are generally very old and dense and they orbit in the halo of our galaxy, far away from the core. Another deep sky object that's around during the summertime is the Ring Nebula in the constellation Lyra. This one you definitely won't be able to see with just your eyes, and even through a telescope it can be difficult to see, depending on the sky conditions. For those of you who would like a challenge though, try to spot this faint ring of light that's about halfway between the two bottom stars of Lyra. At the Heshi Observatory, we were able to snap a short exposure of this nebula where you can see the colors of the gas starting to come out. This is what's known as a planetary nebula, but it has nothing to do with planets. It was formed by a starburst, which is what happens when a smaller star, like the Sun, sheds most of its mass at the end of its lifespan. The core of the star remains in the center of the ring nebula, and it's now called a white dwarf star. Everything I've talked about up until this point will be pretty much the same every summer. However, one thing that changes positions all the time are the planets. This summer, you'll be able to see some of those too. You might have already started to see Venus, which is setting just after the sun right now. All summer, Venus will be seen in the western sky at dusk, and you'll notice that it's the brightest object in our sky, besides the sun and moon, of course. Also, as the summer progresses, Jupiter and Saturn will begin to start rising in the southeast earlier and earlier each night. On August 2nd, Saturn reaches opposition, so it will be the brightest on that evening, and Jupiter will be brightest on August 20th. Summertime is also the best time to view our own Milky Way galaxy, and you can find that by going back to the Summer Triangle that's lying right between those two bright stars, Vega and Altair. For those of you who haven't been out to a dark sky for a while, I snapped a couple pictures of the night sky to remind you of what it looks like without all the light pollution. 
Now these were just taken with my phone, so it's nowhere near as breathtaking as the real sky is out here at Miquelon. If you haven't been to a dark sky in a while though, I recommend you do it. With excess light pollution and all the satellites that are being sent up into our sky, we may only have views like this for a little while longer. So get on out there and find a dark sky! And try to find some of those objects that I've highlighted for this summer. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the clearest of skies.